A dedicated group consisting of professionals has begun work to assist fire victims in Karak to rebuild their homes. Tato Sri Leo Tiong Lai said the team, which came on board voluntarily, would render their expertise to the victims at no charge. Today, I must thank the professional group uh, who came down to Kuala, uh, from Kuala Lumpur uh, to Kara to come and assist the Kara fire victims. So this is an important task and I'm very, very touched and I must thank them for taking their time and effort to give us this professional service. They are giving us this service as free of charge, uh, voluntarily to support uh, the fire victim. And uh, we hope with their help, we'll be able to complete the rebuilding of houses as uh, soon as possible. Liao, who has the Special Task Force for the Welfare of Karak Fire Victims, said the task force, which also includes the victims, would work closely with the professional team on the reconstruction and requirements. Today, I have a dialogue with the uh, victim's family and we have listened to their requests, so we have roughly uh, know their problems and uh, their needs, so we will quickly draft out our plans, uh, give it to the committee, the Fire Victims Committee, to discuss further details with the family, the Fire Victims family. Then we will have more uh, what I call discussion with the victims for us to rebuild the houses as uh, soon as possible. He added that the victims will get to decide on their preferred contractor in an open tender later to ensure transparency. On the night of October 1st, 53 houses and 8 shops went up in smoke in a fire at Kampong Baru, Karak. According to locals, it was the largest and most devastating fire in a small town that left over 100 people homeless. Then on October 3rd, another fire broke out at the nearby Kampong Sungai Karak, destroying three houses. Liao, who is a former Bentong MP, acted swiftly and reached out to the victims together with MCA veterans Tan Sri Lim Alek and Tan Sri Chan Kong Choi and set up the special task force to assist the victims. He said the scope of the task force included serving as a communication bridge between the victims and the local authorities, coordinating the reconstruction work, launching fundraising campaigns, liaising on all technical issues in various professional fields involved in the reconstruction. Liao noted that 1.67 million ringgit has been raised from members of the public as of 5 p.m. on Sunday. School teacher Ho Pei Ling, who lost both her home and her family owned Kopitiam in the fire, said she was thankful to the people for their donations and Liao for the task force's swift action to extend help. So we hope that Jiangdao Ho said she hopes to be able to have a home back for the Chinese New Year celebration.